Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with the absolute finale to the Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke. This is it. As I promised last episode, um, <laughs> well, it's a, little, it's a long story. Um, I said I would be needing to go off screen to train, and uh, it turned out way harder to train. Uh, when you're trying to specifically not get your Pokemon killed, it turns out that uh, Pokemon dying is a key of my strategy. Whoa. So it took me a very long time, and then I didn't even get them to the level I wanted. So let's see, let's check out the level of the Pokemon we got here. Alright, so we got Kid Fisto at 75, Nightmare's at 73, Quetz is at 72, Jolene's at 75, Nux is at 76, and Butterfing is at 72. Quetz and Butterfinger at 72, because I just feel like, because they were the newest to the team, they're the least likely to get, they're the ones I'm okay with uh, potentially losing. Um, but our four boys here, Kid Fisto, Nightmare, Jolene, and Nux, well for specifically Nightmare, uh, I, don't, I didn't really, I kind of gave up on training him, but for Jolene, Nux, and Kid Fisto, I wanted to make sure that they were absolutely not going to die, so I gave them around 75. Um, it's going to be real hard to beat this guy, I think. Even with all that put in place, this is this is no joke. So, let's end this Nuzlocke, huh? Years in the making. The end of Silver. What started as Pokemon Gold, then went to Pokemon Vietnamese, and now we're finally back on a Silver Nuzlocke. We're finally going to have the end. And also, this is the end in general. I'm just not... I'm just not doing this again. Alright. If I lose, I lose. And of course, in, in our... He, it says red, but in our version of the game, he is of course Cam. Uh, Pikachu. Alright, a level 81 Pikachu. Um, if it was anything but Pikachu, I'd be kind of terrified, to be honest. I also did use some PB up on Earthquake. Okay. Okay, down. There, there, down he goes. Down he goes. Okay. Good job, Kifista. Good job. Nux. Nux still has the- Oh, he still has the EXP share on. This one. Do I keep Kid Fisto on for this one? I just realized I don't really have an answer for Espeon. Um, and, okay. Let's try this real quick again. I'm pretty sure Espeon has very high defense though, so... He wouldn't bring out Espeon unless Espeon knew a move that could completely devastate Kid Fisto if she survives this. Never mind. Okay. Okay, good job, Kid Fisto. We we'll probably just solo this with Kid Fisto. Never mind. <laughs> I take that back. All right, nuts. It's your time to shine, boy. Take down this Venusaur. This is what you've been built up here to do, Nux. You survived countless fights. You better not die to this Solar Beam, boy. I swear. Boy, I swear, I'll wake you up. He also somehow still- I never I never got rid of Quick Attack. I really just <laughs> kept it for the entire time. Alright. Okay. That was very easy. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, it's gonna be really funny when it turns out that this is actually an extremely easy fight and I over-prepared for nothing. Blastoise, okay. That's when we're gonna bring out Jolene. Now there is the smallest chance that this Blastoise knows an ice move, and if he does, Jolene is kind of screwed. So I got. Do I go ball hard? Whirlpool. Okay. Okay. Chase. Not Chase. Uh, Cam. Forgive me. Chase was the Pikachu we killed. One shot? Wow, is every single one of these just gonna be- Oh! She crit, though! Them crits! Okay. I need to 
needs to fall. I don't see a reason not to just keep using Giga Drain. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, <laughs> thank god! Ooh, you had me fucking scared there for a second. You had me scared there for a second, Blastoise. Get out of my face. Leave my presence. I just realized, I think we've only used the main group right now. I don't think we're gonna need to use Butterfing or Quetz at all. Charizard. Thank god you rained on him. Um, he hasn't really seen any play. I kind of want to use Nightmare. I'm afraid of him having a potential steal move. Let me see, do you have a rock move? Oh, he might know Earthquake. I'm gonna go with Nightmare and see how it goes. Nightmare's a tank, too. So, I, I did get rid of his Hypnosis, so he's not gonna be able to do his Creeper moves here, but... Should be fine. Wing attack. Okay. Jesus. Jesus, okay. I did keep Headbutt, though. Alright, I'm gonna try using Psychic. No, you should keep using Wing Attack. That shit actually works. Alright, Psychic. I also feel like the, um... The rain was preventing him from using his fire attacks as he knew that they would deal less damage. Yeah, okay. So now this is gonna be the real test. How much is this gonna do to our boy? Oh, Nightmare was here for the Espeon. It's a lot of damage. Alright, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Don't be a pawn, don't crit. I badly want Nightmare to be the one to kill this Charizard. So even if it kills him... Nightmare, you're ending this fight. Either in a casket or he or he's dead. Either way, you're not leaving. Someone dies. Someone dies. And the answer is... Charizard dies. Not good. Don't burn me, bro. Don't burn me, bro. Go for the headbutt! Come on. Don't crit. Don't crit. Oh. Come on, don't miss, don't miss. <laughs> okay, that should be it. I think he lived, I was gonna be very angry. Because Nightmare has a freaking pink scarf and everything. Next game, 17 seconds. Alright. Shit. Oh, wait. We didn't even need Quetz and Butterfing. I didn't even need Quetz and Butterfing. Unless he knows Earthquake. How great would it have been if he had known Earthquake and just completely destroyed me? Alright. Let's Earthquake this baby. Let's see how much this actually does! Damn it, I keep feeling like there's a potentially a bug in this room. I mean, I've seen him. But I don't want him flying up in my fucking face. Ooh. Damn it, I'm paralyzed. Sorry, Kid Fisto. This is the victory lap, baby. That quick claw, though. That quick claw says, screw your paralysis, I still go first. Whew. Hell yeah. That's it. That's the end of the Nuzlocke, everyone. That's the end of the Nuzlocke. Oh my god. I'm just gonna end it right here. Thanks everyone for joining me for this journey. I'm sorry this took so long. I had so much bad things happen in my life in a continuous spiral. Um, but I'm glad to have finally finished this series and I'm glad that we can finally close the book on this. And man, hell of a journey. Hell of a journey. So until next time everyone, remember... I never had a call sign out for the Pokemon game. <laughs> so until next time, goodbye everyone, and have a good day. Peace!
Oh god damn it. I I forgot the part where he disappears like a ninja and then credits actually legitimately roll. Alright, uh, I guess you're gonna get an extra bit of it here. As we look through all the programming stuff. I forgot that they roll credits when you beat him. If I'm being 100% honest, I just seriously forgot that they roll credits when you beat him. Man. It's a good thing I kept recording because I was gonna A out of it and everything. That's alright. Man. This really is the greatest Pokemon game. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, tell you about. The competitive aspects was so good in this gen, though. Don't care. Nothing beats the pure cool fact. Look at this fucking elegant dance. Nothing can beat this. Nothing. You think Groudon can beat this? No, they don't have any dancing. None of their Pokemon dance in Gen 3 or Gen 4. That's actually probably a lie. I think the sprite work got so crazy advanced in Gen 4 that Pokemon were actually dancing in their standing uh, poses. US version stuff. Gail Tilden, thank you. Man, I'm also super tired, by the way. Ugh, by the way. Nabuka Sawara. Puzzle and Dragons testing. Product testing NCL. These were Mario special things. Akito Mori. Takahashi. I don't know any of these names. You spent so much time on this, too. Dun 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 dun. Brum bum 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 bum. The end. Now goodbye, everyone. See you later.